This is the tale of the Lonesome Pie, narrated by me. This is the tale of a lonesome mince pie, but not lonesome by nature. He was a sociable guy. He came from a family of 12 festive folk. They'd chat and they'd laugh and they'd play and they'd joke. Now, mince pies are friendly and that's widely known. So whenever you see them, they're rarely alone. But here's what happened to one little pie. For the sake of this story, let's call him Sai. Sai was at a small party one cold, snowy day when a child hit the table and knocked Sai off the tray. He fell off the edge and bounced onto a chair and then rolled under the arm of an old teddy bear. He lay there for ages as time ticked on by. An hour's quite long in the life of the pie. He sat all alone, full of dread, full of fear. It's sad to feel lonely at this time of the year. He stayed there, away from the Christmassy sounds of parties and laughter and fun all around. And then somebody saw him, someone short in height, who grabbed at his crust, held him up to the light. Sai's insides went mushy as she strode to the bin. But at the last moment, he was dropped in a tin. What he found in the dark brought a tear to his eye. That tin wasn't empty. There was one other pie. They went on a trip. It was just down the road. And they knocked on the door of a neighbor's abode. A kindly old lady placed Sai on a plate right next to Francesca, his new mince pie mate. The girl and the lady sat down for a chat. And watching them natter, Sai realized that it takes just a moment to brighten a day. A moment of contact keeps sadness at bay. He heard the two talking. The sound was so sweet. He felt like the happiest pie on the street. It all goes to show, a nice chat can't be beaten. Unless you're like Sai, because then you get 